ABC 7 Eyewitness News reporter Sean Fawcett joins us now live with the very latest. Hi, Sean. Hello, Kelly and Brad. Today we learned more specifics about the storm from county and city leaders. We also talked with families who say early warnings and quick actions saved their lives. It was just a big white funnel, and you could see it. And about the time my ears started to pop, my dad was like, get inside, get inside. Zach Cummings' family was lucky. Their home sustained no major damage in Tuesday's storms, but some of the homes in the Walnut Trace North subdivision didn't fare so well. Josh and Christian Roberts' home was nearly demolished. In face, the Madison County EMA says the tornado damaged more than 500 other homes in the county, 72 of which were completely destroyed. Kristen Roberts recalls grabbing her 9-year-old baby and jumping in a closet just before the storm hit. I went and got the baby. He was already asleep in bed. Went and got in the closet with our radio, and probably two or three minutes later, our ears started popping, and we just got down on the floor and started praying, and just praying that the Lord would protect us, and he did. Damage to homes and businesses in Madison County is estimated for now to be about $47 million. Many neighborhoods like Walnut Trace North are now being patrolled by Jackson police officers to make sure families can leave their homes without worrying about looters. Josh Roberts says he and his family survived by the grace of God and with help from his neighbors. And we've had nothing but wonderful neighbors and friends and, and employers and co-workers who just showered us with support and love. And so we couldn't be happier that we're here in Jackson. Governor Bredesen toured damaged areas in Middle Tennessee today. He's scheduled to tour Jackson and Madison County tomorrow morning. Sean Fawcett, ABC7 Eyewitness News.